All right, are we back? Like, apparently my stream just ended. What is going on here? All right, are we back? Yeah, I don't know why it went down. That was really weird. Um, how is the audio sounding? Hey, welcome in, Lokut, but how is the audio sounding? Am I, am I louder? Am I too loud? <laughs> I am not sure. I didn't hit anything to turn off my stream. That was weird. Um, now that's something you don't hear every day. I am not. Everything looks and sounds good. Good. All right. I was turning up my volume a little bit and before the stream, messing around with stuff. I think I finally got it where I'm at least louder. <laughs> but unless there's someone else around here who happens to have the exact same name as you. Honestly, too loud is better than too quiet. <laughs> well, I mean, by too loud, I mean uh, like blowing out my voice. Because there is, there is such a thing as too loud and it'll really distort everything. <laughs> It was just really weird because I got the announcement that the stream started and went to look in the stream. Yeah, like I was looking at my phone there a second ago and it showed that like I was live for three minutes and then it just shut down. And I didn't press anything. Twitch being twitchy, I guess. Um, Very slightly, I think it did blow out your voice on like the peak of you talking loud. Also, Adel is dead. <laughs> yes, Adel is dead. Still, the fact that there exists a graveyard here all indicates that this side of the river is definitely inhabited. And by all appearances, its inhabitants must live quite nearby. Yeah, these flowers are still fresh, and the gravestone itself looks brand new. Not to add to the questions we already have, but this has been bugging me since we found the ruins entrance at Selray. I wasn't sure before, but I definitely am now. There were no signs of anyone going through those ruins in a long time. Twitchy is a great way to describe Twitch. <laughs> How do you know? When we hunt, we often have to follow tracks of beasts, and even when there are no tracks, there are always signs. But there were no tracks near the entrance or exits of the ruins, and no signs of any disturbance within them. But here's a grave with Adel's name on it. So that proves he did come through here, right? Or that he's from there. Uh, if this wasn't his point of entry, then how did he get across the river? I cannot imagine any other route. It seems we are left with more questions than answers. Look at that. It's a glider. Isn't that the same kind of bird we saw in Selray? I don't think it's a bird. It looks like one, but it's not flapping its wings. Several African swallows. They would leave no trace. <laughs> so how are you doing, Lokad and Captain Raven? Well, if it's not a bird, then what is it? It came from deeper in the primeval lands, but beyond that, I have no idea. Oh, shit. Are you okay, Adam? Memory time. One day, I intend for mankind to take to the skies. Just like this, on wings of their own creation. Hold on. What is it this time? Adol explained that he had heard a voice in his head and described what it said to him. I had a splitting headache for most of the day. It wasn't so bad to finish that book. Nice. I had a headache this afternoon, too. Thankfully, it went away. What? That doesn't make any sense. You weren't kidding, Osmo. You weren't kidding, Osmo. I've got nothing but questions swimming around in my head right about now. I know, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, let's get going. Okay, okay. It sure must be nice to be so young and spunky. We won't find any of the answers we need by standing around here. I agree. We should continue up the hill and try to find the people who tend this graveyard. So that's where we came from. That's my grave. I 
apparently cannot check any of the other ones. It's like a dodo bird. Looks more like a terror bird. Yeah. Dude, there's some crazy shit going on up there. That's the tower. Is that amazing? A town? This deep in the great forest? And not just that, but look at it. It looks like a way more technologically advanced place than even Kosnan. What is that structure over there? The one surrounded by the thunderclouds. Seems like some kind of tower. Could that be? Yeah, I think it's safe to assume that's the one you marked in your notebook. I didn't expect we'd find it this quickly. Yes, yeah, so that tower plays a very prominent role in most of the games, but uh, that since this is supposed to take place right after the second game, um, yes, that is the that is the tower. It looks almost. Magical, like something out of a fairy tale or an old legend. I'm sure Remnos would be overjoyed if he could see it. Maybe he already has. <laughs> Somehow I doubt that. I'd say it's high time we go in for a closer look, shall we? There's nothing over there I need to worry about. Okay. Dude, the size of that beak is just insane. I didn't realize that was a material thing I could hit. Okay. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? Time to explore. I mean, I guess this is all part of the map, so I do have to uncover it all, right? I've angered the Twitch gods by insulting their platform. Now they won't let me watch the stream. Do I have? Do I not have transcodes tonight? I think I had them before I had to restart. I don't know if I still have them. Oh, you're a big boy. You're a really big boy, and you do a lot of damage, and I'm staying the fuck away from you. Uh, transcodes are the ability to change, like, what, you know, if you're watching in 1080p, 720, that kind of stuff. There's a memory around here somewhere. Oh my god.
I can't touch it until this guy's dead. Oh, he's gonna kill me. This is a bear of doom. Go away. Go away. I don't want... Actually, no. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. What are you doing? Daddy. I'm sorry. I saw these books on this map and I... I... No. It's okay, Adol. You don't need to apologize. Daddy? Daddy! A travel journalist? Does that mean you wrote all these books, Daddy? That's right. I traveled across a few nearby countries before finally settling in this village. Look at this map battle. It said that the beautiful white flowers that grow in this canyon only bloom one night a year. Daddy? Hmm. Why did you become a travel journalist? Well, I... I suppose you could say I just wanted to see things with my own eyes. Why'd you say it like that? You've never heard everything. <laughs> Warrior Seal 2. Okay. Uh, ooh, that's good. We'll go with... Where is it at? Skill experience gain plus 2. Rising Edge is mastered now. Alright. So, I got what I needed out of here. Oh, come on. Weird that I found the first two games to seem more more appealing. That's not necessarily weird. I think the the biggest thing that the the earlier ones have going for them, and when we go back to um, when we go to five and six, I haven't, honestly haven't played four. Um, Oath of Felgana or whatever it's called. Um, so I'm not. I know it's a remake, but it's. I don't quite know a whole lot about it. Uh, but when we go to five and six, those kind of have the pacing of the first two, and I think that's the big thing here. Is that these newer games ended up being twenty plus hours, and it's just a hell of a lot more action, and they feel more JRPG ish than the originals, and kind of. At least for me, like, I feel like the pacing is just much more perfect in the original ones. Like, I love this game. The combat is such an improvement, and it is so much fun. But I do feel like there is there's definitely some give and takes. I do like with this one that I can at least travel a little better. Like, the first two, like, knowing where you needed to go was a nightmare. Are you speaking badly of the You will pay the price. <laughs> Wait, we've gone all the way up there. Oh, the second one fixed the issues the first one had. Because the first one had some serious, like, you had to be dead on with your attacks or you got hurt. The second one was far, oh, probably almost too forgiving.
I guess we'll go see where this wraps around to. Oh, all the way back down here. Okay. The problem that I have with a lot of RPGs is like games that are easy to understand, hard to master, and a lot of RPGs are hard to master and understand. Yeah, I can agree with that. Did I just die? I did. I have no way to heal. Oh, great. We gotta find a, a stone to heal at. Chaotic Aura learned. What does that do? Oh, shit. Skills. X to the Jawbreaker. So it's the shell cracker is what I don't like. Chaotic aura. While active, all damage to and from Durin is critical. So it's got its pros and its naked cons. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Dude, this town looks awesome. Incredible. This place is even more unbelievable up close. I wonder what kind of people live here. Hey, what are those twirly things over there? They're called windmills. The wind spins them around to generate energy. Oh, wow. I'm impressed you knew the answer to her and very nice. Hey, they don't call me an information dealer for nothing. Anyway, based on our experiences so far, it seems safe to assume that adults cause some kind of trouble here too. We might get chased around, we might get locked in a house somewhere for a while, who knows? Either way, we can't stand around forever, so let's just get this over with. Alright. This man's gonna yell at us. You, you, you're... And here we go. Hold up, Adel. What did you do this time? It's... A ghost! Huh? Not the reaction we were expecting. Well, I mean, we are dead. <laughs> we are dead. <laughs> What's going on here? It's Adol. He's come back to haunt us. He, this isn't your world any longer. Go just go back to sleep. Leave us be. I see. So it was the people of this town who dug that grave, Adol. They appear to be under the impression that you are, in fact, deceased. She seems out of place. Um, Adol, is that you? Long time to see? Do you actually remember me? You look pretty confused. Oh, I see. You've lost your memories. Well then, let me introduce myself again. I'm Kalilika. I'm so glad you said your name, because I was going to be like, Kalilika or whatever. <laughs> Kalilika. Pleasure to meet you. How'd you know I lost my memories? That's besides the point. You really are quite the troublemaker, you know. First you wander outside of the town without permission and disappear without a trace. Then you show up here again with no memories, the nerve of some people, I swear. I like that you're an interesting person, but there are limits, you know. After a while, it just gets old. 
You're almost a full-grown adult, so you do a bit. So you really need to start acting like one, okay? Wow, adult. This kid doesn't mince words, does she? <clears throat> now, I think about covers that covers the scolding. So if you would, please come with me. I think if a game can have a simple mechanics, it'd still be really fun. So, yeah, I agree. Because simple pulling off simple is hard. It's like you really, if you're banking on doing something very simply, it needs to be fucking solid. I'll show you to my home. And you don't have as much wiggle room either to be like, oh, well, they couldn't fully polish this because they were working on these like 20 other mechanics. And it's only a few. It's like you, you really need to make sure they're polished. Is a squid magician. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aaron. I'm the mayor of this town and Kalilika's grandfather. I must say, it's amazing to see you alive again, Adol. I had assumed I never would. <laughs> That's a lot of questions. I fear I may not be able to answer in as much detail as you'd like, but I will say what I can. May I ask why you believed Adol to be dead? We found Adol's belongings near a waterfall in this area, but Adol himself was nowhere to be seen. We searched for days, but could find no trace of him. We had little choice but to believe he had accidentally fallen in and drowned. <laughs> Something tells me drowning's not too likely to be the way this one goes out. I can't even imagine how confusing this must be for all of you. But in order to explain things adequately, I would be forced to detail a number of private matters regarding these lands. And I honestly cannot say how much I'm at liberty to discuss right now. Kalilika? Yes, Grandfather? When Lisa returns from the Rite of Summoning, would you please ask her to come by? Is she returning today? Indeed, although it may be past nightfall by then. Either way, I will need to consult with Lord Eldil on this matter. Yay. Until I have done so, I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to remain here in our guest quarters. Can we look around outside? I don't think that would be wise, particularly after what happened last time you were here. And your arrival has caused quite a commotion in town already. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I think it would be best if you stayed indoors for the night. We'll do what we can to make your stay a pleasant one. Kalilika, would you please show our guests to their quarters? It is completely random, Look, I... Sometimes they talk. Sometimes they'll only say two words. And then they'll, they'll, they won't finish their sentence. It's so random, I don't get it. There's, like, multiple times last time we played this yesterday, I talked over talked over voice acting because I didn't know it was coming. It is a Vita port, so um, because it was on Vita, I can imagine that they could only put in so many voice lines for due to limitations of the system. All right, well, since arriving here, we've learned not much. I'm inclined to disagree. If this is where Adol's track ends, there is a high probability that this is where he lost his memories. It may not seem like much to go on, but it is a solid lead nonetheless. Did anyone else find Kalilika and the mayor's reaction to Adol's memory loss kind of weird? I mean, they didn't seem surprised at all. There's definitely something strange about this town. The technology here is pretty advanced too. They even got windmills and streetlights. What's a streetlight? Oh right, they're little devices on sticks basically that light up when it's nighttime big towns, you can have a bunch of them along the side of a road. That's when night falls. Turn them on and it's bright as day. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> but you sure don't hear of too many towns that use them. Heck, you'd be hard pressed to find one even in Rom. Honestly, this town might just be more advanced than any place I've seen or heard about in the whole empire. Makes you wonder, what's a town like this doing in the middle of the Great Forest? You managed to remember anything yet, Anil? Adol? Not yet. Yeah, I didn't think so. 
Uh, Grim, welcome in. How are you doing? Rushing video games with voice lines for everything, but it wasn't like a 20 hour JRPG, so I guess maybe. Seen video games with voice lines for everything. Oh yeah, they do a bunch, but with the Vita, like this was this was a big game for the Vita, like as far as like memory wise and stuff, but it, it pushed it. I do have to say they did an amazing job porting this to PC. All we know about him is his name. However, beyond that, we can only speculate. No, you mean on the video? Okay, okay. I think it would be best for us to rest now and trust that our questions will be answered come morning. Sounds a good idea to me. <laughs> Is it time for dinner? No. Uh-oh. Frida, give me a break. After much tossing and turning, Adol finally gave up on trying to get to sleep. There was simply too much going through his head. Yeah, we're getting a we're getting a good good distance in. I'm, I'm trying to push through. I think we're maybe close to three quarters of the way. The window isn't locked. It might be possible to slip out from here. Let me go outside. Not yet. Is there a way for me to see how much map? Does it tell me? 50. 50.5. So yes, there is a way to see. Now that's creepy, it just slams shut. So yeah, we're halfway. This is Aaron's room, it would be weird to enter without permission. And this is Kalilika's room. Alright, looks like we're going outside, everybody. Can't remember, Grim. Have you have you beaten this? Oh, it does have some great music in that series. I was watching a trailer for Nine the other day, and oh my god, the music to that in that game is gonna be amazing. Going outside because it's the only place I could go. Here's the street lights. It's kind of weird. A winged statue stands beyond the entrance. It looks similar to the statues in Casnia Mine in the underground ruins. One day, I intend for mankind to take to the skies. Just like this, on wings of their own creation. What? Now then, Adol, please wait here for now. I'll call you when Lord Eldil is ready to grant you an audience. Feel free to make yourself comfortable in the meantime. If you'll excuse me. She walks very funny. For goodness sakes, I just finished cleaning. Hard to believe anyone can be this disorganized. It appears to be some kind of telescope, though larger than size of any that are known, and with a very delicate looking lens. Some kind of measuring instrument is laid down haphazardly next to it. It appears to be some kind of ship, judging by the fact that it has a cannon attached to it. It's likely a warship. There are various books piled upon one another here, all pertaining to the study of language. Among them are some of the writing in an unorganized, unrecognizable script. Various antiques, documents, and maps are lined up here. They look like spoils from a ruined raid. A strange sphere slowly rotates in place. The pattern on it looks like a map, but built out of puzzle pieces. Hmm. I'm terribly sorry to have kept you waiting, Adol. 
Lord Eldil is expecting you on the balcony. Please come this way. Yep, I can do that. Dude has wings. You must be Adol Kristen. I am. I imagine you were quite shocked to be brought here so suddenly. One day, I intend for mankind to take to the skies. Just like this, on wings of their own creation. However, now is not yet that time. The doors must be opened in the proper order. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Eldil. I suppose you could say I'm the one who brings harmony to this world. Excuse me, Lisa. I'm sorry for the mess. I'll tidy the room again later. If you wish to talk to Adol here, I'll take my leave now. Thank you. Adol, all of these books and blueprints you see before you, they all depict things that I plan to have someone invent, someone invent one day. Plan to have someone invent? Indeed, one day someone will invent each of the inventions you see before you. Construction, arts, medicine, weaponry. All kinds of knowledge from every field of study are gathered here for the express purpose of gifting to mankind one day. And by bestowing this knowledge, I have worked to maintain balance and harmony in the world throughout its history. Sounds like the work of a god. <laughs> there are many in Highland who regard me as one. I have been carrying out this process for hundreds of years now, treating it as my sacred duty. When a land struggled with floods, I gave its people the knowledge to build floodgates and improve irrigation. In one age, a violent plague spread across the land and I prompted the development of a cure. As for a recent example, ah, do you see that blueprint spread out over there? What is it of? Observe for yourself. Not long ago, I showed those blueprints to a certain engineer. The armies of the Roman Empire and the Principality of Altago have long been butting heads, as I'm sure you know. At one point, Altago seemed to be at a disadvantage, but now, the two forces are an even match for one another. The reason for this sudden equalization? An exceptionally fast warship, the Altagenians, yeah? happened to invent in the nick of time. Indeed, very receptive of you. That is precisely what these are. The countries have been at odds for so long, it would create an imbalance were one to fall under the other's flag. If Raman were to annex Altago, the number of problems for both nations would increase considerably. Woodsy, thank you for the host, buddy. How are you doing? It simply would not be wise to let the war end quite so easily. Much like the relationships between people, resolutions can sometimes lead to problems all their own. <laughs> Just beat Diablo 3 again. Altago is a particularly complex region and is generally best left to its own devices. But exceptions must be made. Are you unable to sleep? Hmm? I'm so happy you're alive, Adol. Do you remember my name? Please. Oh, so you do remember me then. That makes me very happy. Would you like to talk for a while, Adol? 
Uh huh. I see. So your memories of me only just returned a moment ago. <laughs> what a wonderful coincidence. Um, if you don't mind me asking, how much do you remember about Lord Eldeal? Only our first meeting. Really now? That's most impressive. If your memory has recovered that much, then perhaps you already realized this, but Lord Eldeal personally chose you and summoned you to this land. He intended to impart you up upon you the knowledge of the tower. Unfortunately, you vanished before you could receive it. But I'm afraid I don't know what specific knowledge Lord Eldeal intended to impart. I feel I should also disclose to you the truth regarding your memories, or at least some of them. The area surrounding the sanctuary is protected by a special kind of barrier. When outsiders leave, they forget everything that happened here. It's as if, if it, <laughs> it's as if they never came. Just get those little, like, it's like tiny little, my tongue just stops working. Is that how I lost my memories? Most likely, yes. I believe the barrier did what it was supposed to do when you left the area. I do apologize. The barrier is in place to prevent this town and Lord Eldeal from becoming discovered by the world. However, you should only have lost your memories of Highland and its environs. Nothing more. I lost all my memories. I'm sorry. I really have no idea what could have caused that to occur. I've also never heard of anyone regaining their memories of Highland upon returning, either. Maybe some time before he can grant an audience with you, but I'm certain you'll be able to speak with Lord Eldeal again. However, it's late and you need your rest. I'll see you again tomorrow. I'm just so relieved to learn that you're alive. Oh, and Adel, if you should remember anything else about Lord Eldeal, I'm sorry, it's nothing. So now what are you going to do, Woodsy, if you beat Diablo again? You're going to beat it again. Keep going. <laughs> Sorry, Adel. Can you explain that again from the beginning? I doubt repeating the explanation will make its contents any easier to understand. And I must confess, it is most difficult to believe such a tale could possibly be true. So basically, this Eldeal guy is like some kind of god that gives people knowledge? We've seen some strange things on our journey so far, but this is pushing it. There is one point I would like to be clarified. You said that upon leaving this area, you forget everything that happened here, correct? Surely, that would mean forgetting the knowledge you were given as well, no? Yeah, that's a good point. So, go on, Kalilika, or whatever your name is. What's up with that? <sighs> that's no way to ask someone a question. <laughs> well, I'm older than you, so there. You certainly wouldn't be able to tell from how you talk. You're like a spoiled child. The idea that you should respect your elders because of their age is so outdated. Respect is earned through maturity. And people like you don't become mature as they get older. They just turn into grumpy old farts. It, it is an endless crying for more loot. Always. What? <laughs> I think Alilica wins this one. But it's true that the people who receive knowledge forget coming here. However, the knowledge imparted by Lord Eldia remains within the mind resurfacing one day as inspiration. Inspiration? What do you mean? I believe she's stating that the knowledge of person is given resurfaces during daily life as if it were his own thought. Is that correct? Ooh, it's good to see the rest of you actually have miserable intelligence. Unlike a certain someone here. <laughs> Pretty fancy system you got going here, though. Uh, what's this? This is Isu Memories of Celsita. It is a Japanese action RPG. The series is an absolute favorite of mine. I've been doing a series playthrough of them. This is the third game of eight currently. Um, first launched in 87, the first two were 87 and 88, and then this one is was uh, recently redone. Yes, I said eight. 
They're actually making the ninth one. The ninth one is supposed to be coming in 2020. So if people, hey, welcome in, kid. How you doing, buddy? So if people remember the knowledge they've been given as they thought of it themselves, does that mean that everyone who's ever invented something great has been here before? Naturally, not everyone, but that is true for certain people and certain inventions, yes. Unbelievable. So we can actually go outside now? You may. Lisa's explained everything to the people of this town, so there should be no further problems. Okay, Adel. I don't know about you, but those are the words I've been dying to hear. Time to go snoop around town. I can't wait. Well, don't get too carried away. Gotta be careful not to overlook anything that might help you get your memories back. That's our top priority, remember? something wrong oh nothing you just sometimes don't seem like you're all there that's it then it's like you say the perfect thing it's weird really i mean i am a reputed information dealer and all that i absorb everything around me and hey, hey! <laughs> kalilika i would like to entrust you as their guide please show them everything this town has to offer okay however Adel. I must warn you of one thing. Do not, under any circumstances, leave the town through the north exit by yourselves. The north exit? In the direction of that enormous tower? That tower is where Lord Aldeal lives. It's also where Adol met Lord Aldeal when he last came here. However, it's surrounded by an area called the Sanctuary of Storms. And if you enter there without permission, you'll be fried by lightning before you know it. So don't say we didn't warn you. Okay, that seems like a pretty good incentive to keep our distance to me. That's our cue, Adel. Let's check this place out. I imagine they all have French accents now. <laughs> okay, can I go into their room now? I can. I'm gonna snoop. Y'all got nothing in here. No treasure chest, nothing. So, Dong Hammer Kid, what have you guys been up to? This house seems to be empty. This is Lisa's house. But Lisa is out most of the time, so it's usually empty. What about her family? She lives on her own. Both of her parents passed away the year I was born. Oh. And that's pretty much all there is to see of Lisa's house. Let's move on, shall we? Tired, just got off work. Man, it's a late night at work, man. It's like, what, midnight? Excuse me, Dario. Dario, Dario. Hmm, do you have something you need me to... Oh, Adel. P -p Perfect timing. I, I actually have something I need to discuss with you. I have to go talk to everybody in this, don't I, Captain Raven? So what's on your mind? A actually, it's about your gravestone, Adel. I was the one who built it. Someone else asked me to do it, but still I feel terrible. I hope its existence didn't cause you any bad luck. I'm so, so sorry. Please forgive me. I beg of you. Been playing the relaunch Death Garden? Oh, I remember testing that out. How is it playing now? Uh, it's the thought that counts. Really? Phew. I'm glad you're not upset. <laughs> you're so polite. Hmm. Is something wrong, Asma? A thought crossed my mind. Was anything buried in that grave? Oh, hey, now that you mention it... Can't be a body in there, so is it just dirt? No, our tradition for cases where there's no body are to bury the belongings of the deceased. Oh. I, I mean, 
Adol's belongings, that was what was buried in his grave. I'm so, so sorry. Just slipped out. I didn't mean... It's okay, it's okay. We understand completely. Adol's belongings. From before he lost his memories, no less. There may be new information to discover within them. Hell yeah! But for real, I'm going to tell the mayor to have that grave removed really soon. So please, just wait a little bit longer, please. You almost beat human fall flat on stream. Ooh. I... I got that in the anticipation to play it with some friends, and we just never got around to playing it. Better than the first iteration, for sure. There's still some issues to work out, but it's good fun. Yeah, I'll have to... I'll have to see if I still have access to it. I think we should probably be leaving now for Dario's sake, if nothing else. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. We don't want the poor guy to have a heart attack. I want to steal things. My architect, my grandfather, my great grandfather are all architects, and I love to follow their footsteps. Shop. Buy. Weapons. Oh. 32. Jeez. Okay. So we have 50,000. We can get one of you. Claymore, heavy gauntlet, um, feather knives, trident, why not? Armor, lamella armor, amber coat. So it gives us a strength buff and 15 to our armor. Or we get plus 30. Oh, that's a tough one. I don't feel like Adel's had a problem. Really, nor has Durin. I just spent all of my money. <laughs> Couldn't believe I was either a touch had a twin brother or something. Nope, I'm I'm alive. Is this some kind of shop? Well, technically, yes. This is Philmon's workshop, and the staff here are responsible for all the machinery in Highland. Machinery? Oh, you aren't familiar with machines? Well, Karna and Osmar are from the forest and live off the land, so they've never seen machines like the ones here before. You've seen them, then, I assume? Yeah, machines are a complicated contraption thingies that do stuff in a nutshell. I see that your explanation was no help at all. And there you have it. It's a shame your brain isn't as big as your body, or you'd be quite the genius. <laughs> oh, come on now. Give me a break. Hey, hey, big guy over there. You're blocking the entrance. If you want to talk, move over and stop getting in the way of other customers. Why am I the only one who gets told off? Uh, we played for five hours straight. Oh, yeah, that's a long time. And that level was the last level. The children were getting restless and wanted to go play auto chess. How do, how does one play auto chess? Doesn't it? Isn't it automatic? Like, I'm legit asking this. <laughs> it's nice to see you all. And it's particularly good to see you alive, Adol. We are discussing how this workshop is responsible for all the machinery in Highland. Does that mean those windmills outside are created here as well? That's right. I was responsible for designing them, in fact. Thanks to the knowledge I received from Lord Eldeal, anyway. Though all of the wisdom I was given has also been given to someone else as well. I see. I still don't really get it. But I can tell you're an amazing person, at least. <laughs> but of course, you're a perceptive one, young lady. Don't get cocky, old man. Are all the girls in Highland like this? I thought it was just Kalulika, but this one seems like a handful, too. <laughs> well, Tamali is Philmon's successor, so she's not exactly your run-of-the-mill girl. 
Indeed, you may now bow before me. Kid will have to tell you because it hurts my smooth brain. <laughs> Alright, so there's nothing else in here. Alright, no. No, okay, good enough. Out of there. I was really surprised when I heard you were still alive, and not only that, you were able to make it back here with your friends. You are truly a special individual, Adol Kristen. Is this just a bar? What, what, what am I looking at? Highly detailed model sits atop the desk. It seems to depict a battlefield. You guys must have been having fun if five hours just flew by. Um, quests. I cannot look at the quests yet. Are you a zombie? I know all about zombies. Sometimes when people die, they keep moving around and they're called zombies. It's my life goal. To die and come back as a zombie. <laughs> Whoa, it couldn't be... Mickey. What? It might have been a creature called Mishi. I've heard it once before. It's supposed to be extremely shy, always appearing in weird places. It brings good luck to those who find it. For the life of me, though, I can't remember where I heard about it. Either way, if we get a chance, it might be worth trying to track the little guy down. Give it a fruit or nut. Uh, a Reparo fruit. It seems very pleased. That's the only one you found? Is there supposed to be more? Give it a leaf. Fresh leaf. Pinch its nose. Oh shit, it's mad. <laughs> Let's get to know him. I'm supposed to be on the lookout for these impossible things. Oh, because of the trophy. Gotcha. Oh, Battle, it's great to see you. I'm so glad you're alive. Everyone here feared the worst. There are only dust and old dreams in here, but please make yourself at home if you can. Nothing but dust and old dreams, huh? The fuck is a horn pig? <laughs> Video games, man. A few too many books in here to make a claim like that, if you ask me. <clears throat> yes, I do have a lot. Simon and Biddy are the descendants of scholars and the most well-educated people in all of Ireland. While Lord Eldeel gives the ultimate decisions on whom to invite to his town, he'll often ask for advice from Simon and Betty before doing so. Wow, so they're kind of like his heavenly advisors or something then? Oh no, we're not quite that important. Lord Eldeel is omnipotent and um, omnipotent and omniscient in the truest sense, you see. Oh shit, when did you get a cam? I've had a cam now for two or three months. It's for the feed picks. <laughs> <laughs> Words are hard, especially when you've had a lot of beer. But as a result of that, he doesn't always see things the same way a human would, and that's where we come in. We provide him with the human perspective of things, nothing more. Frankly, it's an honor that he listens to us at all. Hmm, I see. How long has this El Deal been living in the region? <clears throat> well, I couldn't give you an exact answer, but it's been hundreds of years for sure. I don't know if you've ever seen any, but all of the winged statues in the Great Forest are images of Lord Eldil. Hundreds of years? So that means he must be really, really old. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to tell if you met him. He looks and acts like he's still in his prime. A 
I've never heard him falling ill before either. Wow. His personality is a large part of why all of us are here in Highland love him so much. He's incredibly kind, and he even has a great sense of humor. Just talking with him always puts a me at ease. Sounds like a pretty great guy. Or god. Ah, I think we've probably kept you long enough now. Thank you. True, we should be letting them go. Yes! Stop talking. But you're welcome to come back anytime. Come on! Calicla, I'm sure you have plenty of other places to show them, no? Yeah, I guess so. Thank you for both of your time. Zifnu, welcome on in. How are you doing? All right. Gotta check out all of these. This is the front to the... That's a horned pig. It is a horned pig. There's also that golden pig in there. My name is Barton, and I study different ecosystems here in Highland. We've met before, but as it seems, you don't remember. I see no harm in reintroducing myself. I'm currently raising rare livestock from throughout the European continent. European... European continent in this building. I, they put things so close. Like there was that sub Afro can. Not African. Afro can. Like they, they put them so close that I keep slipping. Feel free to visit here anytime if you'd like to study them yourselves. That one is mad at me. I give it a flower. Doing pretty good with my brain melt on learning to build and understand PC parts. I love building PCs. It is quite fun. Yeah, if they don't fit, don't force it. <laughs> What an impressive building. It sure is pretty. This is the chapel where people offer prayers to Lord Eldeal. Look, it's Mariana and Lisa talking by the altar. How about we go say hi? I know that. I'm not that silly. I know. I was so happy that my, uh, that my Asus motherboard came with for, like, the chip. It... Like, there's no way to screw putting that thing up. Like, it makes it so... Putting it in, it makes it so nice. It's got a little lever that'll, like, lock it down and everything. And I was so paranoid with my chip when I was putting it in. My CPU when I was putting it in. Because, like, my my friend that built his was, didn't have that kind of feature on there. And he was like, I had to kind of push the thing into place. And he goes, it was terrifying because you hear a little bit of a snap. And he's like... He checked and there was nothing wrong. And he was like, this just... She's like, it's the most terrifying thing when you spend five hundred dollars on a CPU and you realize, like, you hear that and you're like, oh crap, did I break it? <laughs> oh, you must be. Good day, Adol. Did you manage to get any sleep after we spoke last night? I did, thank you. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Uh, are you Lisa then? You're very pretty. <laughs> Isn't she though? Lisa is the most popular maiden in all of Highland, and for good reason. Most popular? Why are you boasting about her? Shouldn't you be, like, jealous or something? <laughs> These two have always been very close to one another. They've been raised together as if they were sisters. I see. And who might you be? Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Mariana. I'm one of the Apostles of Highland. My plan is to make PC that can run any game on low to mid settings. Nice. Apostles? Oh, that's right. I haven't explained that yet, have I? Those who directly serve Lord Eldeal are referred to as his apostles. And only apostles are allowed to enter the tower where he lives. Of course, there's more to it than that, but that's the grand general gist. Suffice it to say, it's a very important position. Lisa is an apostle too, and so am I, but I'm just an apprentice. Oh, really? Important position, huh? So, how do these apostles serve your lord ordeal exactly? Well, each of the apostles has a different task assigned to him or her. Mine, for example, is the rite of prophecy in which I convey the words of Lord Eldeal to the people of Highland. 
This is role then. My role is the right of summoning. The right of summoning. If I recall correctly, the mayor spoke of that yesterday. Adel said something about Lord Eldeal giving knowledge to people of this choosing. So does that mean your role is to bring those people here? Exactly. You probably figured this out by now, but the one who brought Adel to this town before he lost his memories was Lisa. Really? Come to think of it, what happened to the person you were supposed to be bringing here this time? Was he with you when you returned last night? No, actually. Lord Eltiel indicated that the timing was no longer convenient, so I was asked to cancel the summoning until a later date. Really, that's a shame, but if Lord Eltiel wasn't able to grant an audience, then that's that, I suppose. He must really be busy right now. Yes. <laughs> Are you okay, Lisa? You seem tired. Oh my god. What am I missing here? Um, oh, I got Astroneers. Astroneers is such a fun game. <laughs> you remember that a bunch of us have it and wanted to be cool. Admiral Akbo, welcome on in, buddy. Around 600 to 650. There's actually some really good, um, I think Linus Tech Tips, he did a build for about that price. And I think he could run most things almost on high. Um, if you check out his YouTube channel, Linus Tech Tips, I I swear he looked at a build at some point that was really cheap. He's trying to make the best he could with that price. <sighs> Won't be future proof, but there's tons of builds that could definitely play everything available. Linus is awesome. How are you liking your, your PC, Admiral? Perhaps you should avoid making any more long journeys for the time being. No, I'm fine. Well, if you're sure. Alright, everyone. I think we should move on to the next location. I really am fine, Kalilika. You needn't worry so much about it. Everyone needs rest sometimes. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Indeed, we've heard enough for now. Any further questions can wait. Thank you very much for your time. Take care. It's nice meeting you. Okay, Miss Tour Guide. Lead the way. <laughs> Don't patronize me, neck gen. Whoa. She's fucking feisty. Come on, everyone, let's move along. It's killer. I haven't even really tested it yet. <laughs> yeah, he might not have done one very recent, Captain Raven. You're right, but it's worth looking at. Um, Tom's Hardware is a good resource for finding that stuff, too. Yeah. There's tons of ways to... There's tons of resources out there to be able to build it a budget PC that can actually play the vast majority of games. They don't want anyone leaving town to that map. Okay, let's go get our... I feel like we've gone everywhere. Am I supposed to talk to everybody? Anything bad would happen, they wouldn't be worse enough to exhume. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Oh, stop. I have gone everywhere. Walking around freely in a monsterless environment should be a pleasant change of pace for you. Or so I'd hope. So please try to use the time meaningfully. Right, well, we're we're going to go get my. I want my shit. Where are you going? Where else are we supposed to go? I've gone everywhere. We've gone to these. I've gone to these. Where am I supposed to go? I've talked to you kids, I've talked to you. Like, I'm not supposed to talk to everybody else in here, am I? Oh, well, you hear you should. Yep, yep, yep. No. Well, 
And I'm not trying to melt my poor little brain anymore today, but thanks for the info. <laughs> Give it a fruit or nut. I'm gonna give it a Reparo fruit. Um. Go ahead, Dong Hammer. supposed to I, I guess I didn't talk to you we can get not off customers like you look my words have plenty to offer yes 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 you do exchanges though okay hold on brittle bone I got a lot Fire's materials is damaged hide. We're gonna make sturdy hide. Cracked shells. Split hair. And even after I packed, I picked all my parts out. I was still looking for sales and researching. Oh yeah, it never stops. It's from December of 2017, but the first PC is under 500 bucks. Should be a good starting port point. And check it against newer models for stuff. I know there's already so many things I want to do to mine. All right. I still don't know that I talked to. I talked to you. So where? Don't be afraid to look around this here as much as you like. It, 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 hopefully something triggers your memory. Nothing in here seems to trigger my memory though. Thread Ripper build for a home workstation, that'd be cool. Talk to you, we talk to your kid. I guess like I'm gonna see if there's other people I can talk to that maybe I, I missed. Welcome travelers, as you can see, this is a place where we weave fabrics and tailor clothes. This is the rule that has been passed down in my family for generations. I honestly don't remember coming in this room. Dealt with the animals. We talked to both of you. What am I missing? Talk to you. Did not talk to you. That's what we're missing. Oh, it's you, Kalilika. I see Adel and his friends are with you, too. Have you come to ask me something? Yeah, we have. Oh, but first I should introduce you. This is Werner. He's responsible for observing the river. Observing the river. Surprise, it's a job like that here. So, you seen anything strange around the river lately? Well, yes, actually. Not long ago, I saw two strangely dressed individuals, a man and a woman, on the opposite shore. Hmm. Can you describe them at all? <laughs> the woman was, let's just say, lightly dressed and had long purple hair. And the man was enormous, clad in obscenely heavy looking armor. I remember them well because they were such an odd combination, like a study in the opposites. That sounds like... The man must have been the beast tamer we encountered. Yeah, and that woman must be the magician. So those two were allies. I sure wouldn't have guessed that. Oh, you've met them. You've met them yourselves. Unfortunately, all I could confirm is that the two of them were together. They were on the opposite shore, after all, so I couldn't hear what they were talking about, nor confirm exactly what they were doing. I see. Still, at least they know they're connected in some way. 
That's pretty significant on its own. Thanks for the information. Oh, it was nothing. Happy to have helped. Thanks a bunch. I'm gonna get some cool remote work jobs and then I want a beastly machine that can spin up home labs and stuff on Threadripper would do the job. It looks sexy as fuck, which is probably yeah, dude. I think whatever my next one is, I'm gonna I'm gonna dabble in some water cooling. Oh, we already talked to you. You're the zombie person. So I think that was the last one we needed to go see. Yep. Right. I think we've been about everywhere in town now. We should have enough information to work with, so let's head back to the mayor's place and regroup. Yes, we must decide our next course of action. Meanwhile, I'm afraid I have some business to attend to, so I must bid you adieu. I'll see you later. Bye. Alright then, Adel. We gathered a fair amount of information, at least. Is there anything in particular that stands out to you? Um, I didn't say El Deal. The winged god you're supposed to have met before you lost your memories? He sure seems to be loved by everyone around here. Well, if he's really been living in that tower for hundreds of years, then he's not an ordinary human, that's for sure. And he's supposed to be in perfect health, not like some old man or anything? Those statues in the forest supposedly were cast in his image. Which means there is a high likelihood that he has come some connection with the ancient kingdom of Salsita. While we cannot be certain until we have him in our met him for ourselves, he does seem to fit the very definition of a god. Yeah, this whole ordeal thing is definitely an interesting development. But I was thinking of something else, something that might help figure out what happened to you here, Adol. About my belongings? Yeah, I was thinking that too. If you really fell on to that waterfall, your belongings could hold the key to this whole mystery. You don't say that the Third Rippers are nice ladies. <laughs> this could be our chance to see what Adeline had with him before he disappeared. Assuming we can even get to them since they've been... Buried. And since everyone thought you were dead, they buried them in your grave. Time for some grave robin. That settles it then. Permission from the dead guy himself means no curse, so no problem. Just a little playing in the dirt and bam, answers. There's not a moment to waste. No, not at all. Not a moment to waste. I think like if I was to upgrade anything right now, like just to buy me a little more time, I haven't I have an i7 7700. It's you know, still a really, really good, a really good CPU, but uh, it is in a Z170 uh, motherboard and cannot take advantage of. It's set for sixth gen CPUs, not seventh gen, so it cannot take full advantage of my CPU. I think I would get a new motherboard. Here lies Adel Kristen. Yep, this is the one. <clears throat> Let's get digging. Never thought I'd go grave robbing at all, much less with the grave's occupant at my side. Come on, boys. Let's get to work. Boys. After digging for a while, a stone coffin was unearthed. Hesitantly, the lid was slid back to reveal... It's empty. Huh? Hmm. Empty. It's not the wrong grave, is it? No, this is Adel's, and they did say they buried his belongings here. Wait, I think I see something in the corner. Osmo produced a small scrap of paper from the coffin. I received the mask from. What is this? Looks like it came from a notebook. There's something written on it, too. Yeah, RGB is amazing. The custom liquid cooling stuff. So, it, dude, what was it? Uh, 
I don't think it was Corsair. It might have been Corsair. I saw it on Twitter. Someone's making like a 300 some odd gig fucking DDR4. Shit looks crazy. RGB SSDs now. Oh, see, I got the uh, um, what is it? The G Skill Trident RGB RAM. I love it. I love it. Receive the mask from that's definitely your handwriting, Adel. The mask. Yeah, that brings a lot of things to mind, but let's think this through for a minute. Firstly, why are Adel's belongings not here when the villagers said they'd be, and even apologize for burying them? <laughs> oh cool, the build link you is pretty much close to the updated parts I found. Nice! <clears throat> That seems the most likely scenario to me as well. If we assume that the villagers said it's true, Adel's belongings should be buried here. If they intended deception, they could say that no belongings were found, and I doubt they would have questioned it. The most likely possibility here seems to be that someone looted your final resting place, perhaps considering it a victimless crime. So someone else dug up this grave before us? Whatever was in there must have been seriously important to them if they were willing to go that far just to get it. Yeah. But at least we found something. Received the mask from. Not much to go on, but it's a start. Though hearing the word mask doesn't bode too well for us given what we went through in Komodo. It's too early to tell if Remnos is connected to this. Yeah, we've got far too little information right now. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Sif. <laughs> Still, it says he received it from someone. Who would that be, I wonder? Whoever it is, it seems reasonable to conclude that Adel's disappearance occurred shortly after this meeting. Perhaps the mask in question is directly tied to this incident, and by extension to Adel's memory loss as well. It's a trap! I think it would be safest to operate under this assumption at the moment, to remain on alert while we continue to investigate. Alright, Adel. I think it's about time we go meet the person living in that tower now. How? We're gonna die when we go up there. You would like to speak with Lord Ildeal? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get to the bottom of what happened to Adol without taking talking to him at least once. I agree a consultation with Lord Ildeal seems wise. It is, after all, my responsibility that one of his valued guests went missing. I would like to discuss matters with him as soon as possible myself. Is something the matter, Lisa? Um... Lisa? Actually... Actually, there's something I need to tell you about Lord Aldeal. Oh, you sound hesitant. Please don't be shy. What is it that you need to tell me? Lord Aldeal... Lord Aldeal is rather unwell at the moment. He claims he has some kind of... Chronic disease. What? Lord Eldeal is ill? I was unaware this was even possible. To my knowledge, he's never taken ill even once. I'm sure he would be very happy to know Adol is alive and well, but if you could at least wait until his condition improves. I see. Well, I guess we don't really have much of a choice in the matter. If he's sick, he's sick. Durin? I'm terribly sorry. To be certain to inform Lord... I'll be certain to inform Lord Eldeal of your arrival at the first available opportunity. Right now I'm looking up a one terabyte hard drive and... And, um, oh, okay? Huh? <laughs> oh, don't thank him. <laughs> As if you knew, it was just a joke because Admiral Akbar was the Admiral Akbar from Star Wars. Right, man, I can't believe this. Do we really have to wait until God feels better before we can talk to him? And our hands are tied until then, too, since we told him we wouldn't wander too far outside the town. First, Adel's memories now now deals unprecedented illness. It seems a lot of unusual things are happening here lately. It's like everywhere Adel goes, trouble follows. Hey, it's not my fault. 
Sorry, I guess that might have sounded a little mean. Still, we four would have never met one another if it weren't for you, so it's not like you're always causing problems. I have no idea what kind of unimaginable horrors await us in the future, but I know I don't regret coming with you. Nor do I. What's on your mind, Durin? Eh. Oh, you're talking to me. This is only a suggestion, Adel, but how about we sneak out of town tonight and go to Eldeal's Tower ourselves? What? Weren't we just told not to do exactly that? Well, I have a hunch. I mean, I can't prove it or anything, but still, that Lisa girl seems to be hiding something. I got a feeling it's real important. And what's stranger is, I don't get the impression that it's us she's hiding it from. If anything, she seems to be hiding it from the people of Highland. Are you referring to her Count of Eldeal's illness? She did seem overly hesitant to mention it, with no obvious explanation for her reluctance. Don't get me wrong, she seems like a nice girl, but I get the feeling there's more to this than meets the eye. Yeah, I want to. I I think that's the that's the most like I need solid state drives. I am sick of using regular hard drives. I'm sick of my five minute boot up time for everything. I want solid state. I think it has been made quite. What about like looking at like a hybrid drive, a hybrid HDD? I think it's been made quite clear to us that this town is unique in a great many ways, and with individuals acting to make the situation even more complicated. There is a high probabil probability that no matter how long we wait, there will be no resolution to this dilemma. That's just what I was going to say, except in smaller words. I'm kind of surprised, though. I figured you'd be against it for sure. We all have our reasons for being here. I'm tired of simply waiting for things to happen. The time has come for us to be arbiters of our own destinies. That's the spirit. What about you, Adel? How do you feel about this? Let's do it. Don't know why I even bothered asking. Your eyes lit up like fireworks as soon as I mentioned sneaking off. So hopeless. So I guess that's it, then. We should start getting ready, as something tells me this won't be an easy journey. Be best if we go to the tower before dawn. At the very least, yeah, get like a hundred and twenty-five gig SSD for your OS. Ashen you. Tofki, I still can't see your name. I'm so sorry. You can see my face, yes. <laughs> How are you doing? Yes, we will go outside. So this is how you've been getting out. I'm doing well. I'm glad it's the weekend. We're making good progress in this game. I'm happy. This is so exciting. Shh, we need to leave before anyone notices us. Yes, go. Run away. The north exit leads to the tower, right? The shops still seem to be open, so we can stock up on supplies before we leave. Do take care not to appear suspicious, however. I do need to get health. We don't have health potions. And I have no more money. Fuck me, why did I buy everything? Okay. Um, sell? Let's see what we can sell. We can sell Adel's old, old things. I don't need them. I'm going to watch as I fell asleep. Hopefully, you don't mind. Nope. Lurk away. Always welcome. Um, okay, so we need to buy. It's a thousand. I have eight thousand. Okay. So let's get four of those. We'll get ten of those. And rota droplets. Three of those.
Hey, Adol. How about we stop by at that shop before we leave town? Filman's workshop, was it? Yeah, that was the one that looked like it dealt with machines. Might be able to stock up on supplies there. I... I guess we're gonna sell another thing. Cause I don't know if the other guy will sell, will buy from me. So I guess we'll sell some old stuff. So we can get rid of you and the shark fin. Why? Okay, so these are bad. Okay, we're just getting rid of all that. I like it. It gives me some money out of there. So we can fiddle around with that. We can buy some whatever this guy's got. Is that Gazuk? Gazuk? Wasn't that the traveling merchant we met in Celery? Oh crap, it is him. What are you doing here, Gazuk? Actually, I happened to see you entering the ruins and decided to follow you. I did get lost along the way, but I managed to make it here in the end, just now in fact. Seriously? I can't believe you made it all this way on your own. The servants are pretty dangerous, you know. <laughs> they don't call me Gazak the Strong for nothing. I know that forest like the back of my hand. And I'm not letting some little monsters get the best of me. Amazing. You must be stronger than you look. <laughs> I hear that a lot. Anyway, there's something you should know. Actually, from Highland. What? What are you talking about? Hmm, perhaps I should be the one to explain. You see, Gatsuk here is my younger brother. Really? If I told you the whole story, we'd be here all night. So to summarize, a few decades ago, I got myself into a bit of trouble. Took a little spill, you could say, and eventually found myself washed up on the opposite side of the river. I was saved by the people of Celery, and, well, that was that. You've been a beloved resident of Celery ever since I was born, so I had no idea. But I've never had any way to know that you came from the other side of the river. Wait, so this is supposed to be like a big teary-eyed reunion of long-lost brothers or something? It was, yes. Until you all barged in and ruined everything. <laughs> oh, it's no bother at all. What was it that you came here for? Did you need something? Came to buy supplies. I don't have anything I could sell you, unfortunately. Oh, if I use the facilities here, I should be able to reinforce your weapons and armor. Really? Of course, if you have the materials, I can even craft some accessories for you. I'm Gazak the Strong, after all. Though back when I lived here before, people called me Gazak the Super Handyman instead. <laughs> we'll go along with that. Feel free to work Gazak hard while he's here. Alright. Craft accessories. I don't know if I necessarily need to do that, but we can definitely reinforce. So, the claymore we can reinforce with. That adds poison to it. can even add attack to that. Okay. Heavy gauntlet. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Reinforce. Heavy gauntlet. Let's put paralysis on there. Feather knives. I'm, I'm good with that for now. <laughs> I've never seen a thunderstorm like this before. I believe this is to be the only way to reach the tower. Yeah, I guess we're getting near the sanctuary storms. They were talking about in town. Let's get closer. Look, we'll figure out how to make it through in one piece once we get there. 
any other uses for an SSD. Um, my understanding is they just it speeds everything up. Like they're they're just far more efficient. They take up less room. I don't believe they require as much power. I could be wrong on that end. Well, and then, like, when your SSD is on, like, when your OS is on it, shit. Like, you, Admiral, the other day when we were playing games, you restarted your computer and it was booted up in less than 10 seconds. I was fucking blown away. <laughs> And the other thing I think with SSDs is you don't have the failure rates like you do with uh, with regular hard drives because there's no moving components to it. Booted super fast too. I had my BIOS set to ultra fast boot, which was really cool until I needed to get to my BIOS. <laughs> it's already a pain in the ass to get your BIOS, anyways. Like, I, I think I'm on that screen for all of like two seconds, and I'm just constantly hitting F2 as fast as I fucking can from the second I turn my computer on. <laughs> Shit, I'm out of magic. Alright, there we go. Oh, big guy. Big guy. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt really, really bad. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Getting out of here. Getting out of here. Where is... It's right here, right? Yeah. Jeez, okay. Ultra fast disables the boot and BIOS option. You have the Windows utilities to force it. Oh, yes. SSDs only have so many rewrites they can handle. It's high, but if you plan on moving data on and off, it's probably not recommended.
Okay, so we do have to go back down. Fuck, I don't want to deal with those guys. That... Yeah, I mean, if you got the money to waste on it and you want the load times, go for it. If you can deal with the slower load times, then it's just go with the normal hard drive. You can get a hybrid hard drive, which is um, faster than a standard HDD. Not quite as fast as SSD, but they're... Free drive if you can spare the extra 60, 70 bucks for 120 other than that, 720, yep. Boot drive is something I wish I had actually spent a little on. Fuck, I always do that. I always press triangle. Damn it. It would have been nice to save that. I can't kill that guy yet. I can barely do any damage to him. at 30 Whoop. yep nope you're you're much higher than I am <laughs> nope not messing with you. Rain's really starting to pick up. We should probably set up a tent here and rest at all. A tent? Wow, this is starting to feel really exciting now. Like we're hiding out in the wilderness. We can use this area as a base of operations during our time here then. Yeah, though we need to be back in the highland before dawn, so we can't spend the night here or anything. We should be able to rest for a little while, though, at least. Sounds good to me. It was a quiet night. Only the sounds of the falling rain and constant thunderclaps could be heard echoing through the darkness. Then, with a flash of lightning, a memory sealed deep within Adel's mind was released. Ah, I thought you might be interested in this sphere. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you anything about that at the moment. It would spoil all the fun. 
but I have a feeling that one day you will discover the truth behind it on your own. And I do not intend to rob you of that joy. You are the first person to ask me so many questions. My body is not supposed to feel exhaustion, and yet somehow, I think I'm beginning to understand what it's like. I brought some tea. Would you like to have a rest now? Thank you, Lisa. Could I trouble you to help me carry the tea, Adel? Lord Eldil, is something the matter? No. I was just thinking that the two of you go together quite well. B what? But Adel seems to have quite a wide pool of interests. As your father figure, I would be a bit worried that he might neglect the household. Honestly. Please, Lord Eldil, don't tease me like that. <laughs> My apologies. Alright, Brom out. Good luck on your builds, if. Alright, Admiral. You have a good night, buddy. I will chat at you later. Adel. Adel, you okay? You were out like a light, man. Come on, we gotta get moving. We're running out of time. Memory fragments in the surrounding area are now visible on the map. Sanctuary of Storm. Oh boy, this is some storm. It shows no signs of subsiding, and there is no shelter to be found in the plains. So this is the sanctuary of storms? If we step out there, we'll be fried in no time. Yeah, I can see the tower on the other side, but actually getting to it alive seems kind of unlikely. There appears to be several strange objects scattered across the plains. Oh, you're right, I wonder what they're for. I don't know, but we're not going to get any closer to the tower just standing here. Come on, Adel, let's dick suck it up and go have a look. Are you sure? I really don't feel safe going out there. It'll be fine, just as long as we're careful and try to keep low profile. We should probably be okay, I think. Okay. Uh, party? Okay. I told you it was dangerous to go out there. <laughs> I'm sorry, that probably wasn't one of the best ideas. Something the matter? Someone's there. What? Yes. Right there. Whoa. Watch where you're throwing those things. You can put someone's eye out. It's you. Oh boy, it's the kid from the mayor's place. Hmm. <laughs> Grouping all children together with a demeaning word like kid is the sort of thing adults do when they want to sound smarter than they are. It's not an attractive quality, you know. The hell's your problem? Try and get along, you guys. So, Kalilika, how long have you been following us? I saw you leaving the mansion. Grown adults sneaking out through a window. I could hardly believe my eyes. What now? I suppose you plan to escort us back to Highland then. Yeah, I guess we've been caught red-handed. Nothing we can do now but go quietly. That won't be necessary. Rather, I'll be coming with you to see Lord Eldeal. What? I'm an apprentice apostle after all. I'm not some child who needs protecting. Plus, I can use my mace to activate the lightning conductors on the planes and stop the lightning from hitting us. Well, I have to admit, that definitely sounds handy. No. There is a problem with this course of action, however. 
If anyone notices that a child has gone missing during the night among with th along with us, it will spark much worry and suspicion. Yeah, that's a good point. Hey, why don't you come back to town with us? We'll make sure no harm comes to you along the way. <laughs> I scoff at your suggestion. If you think you could talk sweetly and get me to submit, you're sadly mistaken. I wouldn't want me telling Grandfather about this little excursion of yours, now would you? Because that's exactly what I'm going to do with happen what's going to happen unless you take me with you. The choice is yours. Is she trying to blackmail us? Sure seems that way. But if the mayor discovered you were with us, would that not disqualify you as an apprentice apostle? You're a lot more perceptive than I gave you credit for. Why are you so determined to accompany us? I assume it is not simply for curiosity's sake, nor are you playing a game with us. Of course not. I would never do something like that without a very good reason. Lisa's hiding something about Eldeel. I know she is. How can you be so sure? We've been together for most of our lives. Believe me, I can tell. Whenever she keeps a secret, it's because she's trying to shoulder the burden without bothering anyone. It's just the kind of person she is, and I hate seeing her suffer like this. I want to help her, even if it is just a little bit. Have you tried talking to the people of Island? Yeah, but everyone else seems content to leave things the way they are. Even Grandfather won't do anything to help. You're the only ones who seem to care enough to actually do something about it. I figured maybe I could count on you. Don't cry. So you suspected something may be amiss at the tower and decided to take matters into your own hands. Man, you were one precocious kid. I get where you're coming from, but... Is there something wrong with a child being precocious? Adults are always dismissing what children say, telling them that they're ignorant of the ways of the world. But as a child is, a... but as soon as a child starts trying to learn those ways, it's always adults who put them down and say they're not ready. As long as I keep listening to what adults tell me to do, I'll never become one myself. All right, all right. What do you think, Adel? Lead us to the tower now. Huh? What's gotten into you, Adel? You're. Terrible actor, you know that? You're trying to make it seem like you forced her to guide us, huh? So if someone were to discover this expedition, you would take all of the blame upon yourself. How very like you. Are you saying... <laughs> Way to go, Kalulika. Welcome to the team. Thank you, everyone. If only you were this well-behaved and honest with your feelings from the start, you'd be a cute kid. <laughs> Sometimes it's important for children to act like children, you know, and rely on adults to support them. Ah, yeah, what's that for? Did she just bite him? You said it was important for children to act like children, so that's what I'm doing. And if you attempt to belittle me again, just remember, I bite. Ow, ow, stop that. That really hurts. She bites. I promise to fall back if things get too dangerous, Adel. So please take me to the tower with you, please. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Well then, the Sanctuary of Storms awaits. You ready? Okay, Kalilika. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> Watch and learn. See those lightning conductors scattered across the plains? Those things half buried in the ground? Yeah, I can activate them with my power. As long as one is standing, no lightning will strike the area around it. Only I can bite. But it's only temporary, so we need to reach a new conductor and activate it before the previous one shuts down. We just have to repeat that process until we reach the tower. Does Lisa really come through here every time she goes to see El Deal? No, she has her own way of reaching the tower. Really? Time is short. We should go. Well then, let's go.
This is easy. It's just that, it's to keep the Apostles being the only ones that can get there. Tower of Providence. Whew, we finally made it. I could feel the hairs on the back of my neck standing up every time lightning was about to strike. That was scary. So, what now? There's an elevator nearby that'll take us up to Lord Adzeel's room. He should hit the- we should hit there right away. It's a lot of land wasted, right? This is such a strange place. What are those things below us? <clears throat> They're the mechanisms that control the sanctuary storms. Oh, really? Wait, seriously? Those things are what made those crazy storms we just passed through? Yep, Lord Eldiel uses them to directly control the rain and thunderstorms in the sanctuary. And the rain from the sanctuary flows into the river, which is responsible for the rapid currents on this side. So in a way, you could say they spin to help protect these primeval lands from any who would do them harm. Truly the work of a god. We've been told that Lord Eldiel came from a distant land on the other side of the ocean a long, long time ago. And he modeled these mechanisms after a weather controlling device that existed there. Wow. Over there is the elevator that'll take us to his room. Hop aboard, everyone. Huh? Work! What's wrong? The elevator doesn't seem to be working. This has never happened before. Is there any other way up? Well, yes, but... Cat's being crazy. Please don't say that, Starcase. I'm sure it would be wonderful exercise, but I really wouldn't recommend it as anything other than a last resort. The lions look dead as fuck, though, so what's the point of saving Sandy Pilot Place? Well, we're not saving the Sandy Place. Like the, so, he... The storms are part of the defense mechanism so that no one finds the place that isn't supposed to find it. There seems to be a variety of monsters patrolling these platforms, too. Those are the Tower's Guardians. Looks like we'll have to get past them if we want to win ourselves an audience with Lord Eldiel. Can't turn back now. Now I've come too far to go back empty-handed. Let's do this. Or something may have happened to Lord Eldiel. Please let me come with you. Okay, then let's go. I don't think Lord LD is alive right now. Or he's really, really hurt. One of the two. Oh, we got a mimic. Wait, two mimics. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're talking about Highland. 
It's all about and like the tower because the tower is supposed to house him, a god, and he doesn't want to get attacked. It must be her. Fuck me. I always end up pressing the wrong button. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I expected the fast way to not be true. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but I don't think I was expecting that. Um, you know, actually, we can heal. I forgot. I just hang out here and I'll heal. Right, it stops when I move. Okay. So, we're going to heal. Now that we have so much health, it takes forever to heal. <laughs> oh, she's strike as well. I think what I'll end up doing is I'll, uh... I think I'm gonna swap him out. For Pierce. Full health for that. Almost full health for her. HP pots? Well, that was... Uh, standing, I... That's uh, an item that I got yesterday. So it's not something that happens right away. It's a special item that I obtained. And you can't... It's you have to stand still, you can't be in combat. So the HP pots are for combat. Tactician's Glove. What does that do? Cover more SP on skill finish. Ooh. Do I have a better shield ring or is that the only one I got? Damn. That's the only one I got. Okay. You can wear that for now. Everybody's got to be out to return to the normal size. 
Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not going up yet. I saw a bunch, bunch of chests up here. I can't go up there. Fuck! Alright. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't know if I wanted that. So I'm missing out on a bunch of shit now. Nope, not ready for that one. I'm gonna try and get this to go back to the beginning. Oh, damn. She does some damage. Alright, so that other one is not raised. For whatever reason. Maybe on the third section it has something that will help raise it a little higher? I, or what if I hit that thing again? Can I, can I set it twice? Nope. Okay, so we need to find... It's got to be over in the next area.
is that? Ah. I wish I had done that the first time before I rode it all the way around again. That's got to be for that area back there to get that chest. Yup. Leave it to me. I have to heal at some point. Just stand put. Stand still. Yes. Stay put. That's, that's what I was trying to say. Alright, heal. <sighs> we barely climbed this tower. If it's anything like the other games, the towers are huge. God, one and two had like, I think it was 15 levels. Dude, these guys are level 26. That would explain it. Slash. Oh my god, I do not like these things. Ah, 
how many are there? Motherfuckers. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is going to be a puzzle, isn't it? Cerescape plus eight. goes. That guy's still alive. Thing got me. Yeah, there's that all that loot up floor one. I think I have to get something that'll allow me to like walk up the that railing or that that ramp. Thank you for the reminder, though. I do appreciate it. Oh my gosh! Thank you.
Where'd it go? fight him at some point. <laughs> How did I know? Krell Emesia, the guardian of the storms. I don't quite understand what I'm doing here. Okay. He's dead. <sighs> Are these going to be the boots I need? The Gale shoes. There we go. Round two, fight. <laughs> I haven't saved in a while. <laughs> Actually, so if we can get to the bottom, hold on real quick. Am I supposed to use these? Hold B button. Figures they're all fucking mimics.
Who's best girl? Well, they're both very different. One is throw like ranged with knives, and the other is the fucking mace. I personally like the one with the knives, but the one with the mace, she's pretty fucking strong too. She's got some, she's got cooler specials. That's not good. Personality, I like the, the redhead, or I guess they're both redheads. This girl on the left. Although, it, it, the other one, although she's very... She's very... Spunky, for lack of better terms. Oh, shit. I didn't realize I was playing Sonic the Hedgehog. Holy hell. That dude does some damage. How? What is going on? I don't understand. I might have to load. I think we're stuck. Alright, let's see if we can do this again. in there. How am I supposed to get to that? Can't get up there. I 
It looks like I'm supposed to fall at the right spot. Now there's a part of me that really wants to do it, because I, I feel like that's got to be something worth having in there. I just don't know what the right spot is. I was wondering why I'm... Oh, he's dead. That's why. There's a thing up here to be able to revive, right? I think there was. Well, where, where did I see that? Oh no. I think it's the second one in between the like the, the two there. Oh, I wish it would like raise faster instead of having to show me that it raised. So if I go stand on those two in the middle there, I think that's the one that I need to be on. Yup. Are you fucking kidding me? Throwing button, I rolled off. Upstairs, heal, and we'll continue on our way. Did it just make a monkey sound? I don't know if it did. I don't think it did. Who's yawning? That was not me. It heals a lot faster than the first two games, so that's nice. First two games would take forever. 
ever towards the end when your HP was really, really high. I think there's a chest on the left side of the wall. Possibly? All the way over here? No, there's not one showing up on the minimap. Fuck off! Now I got spinny, swinging things. That wasn't that bad. Fun. Prism Mace plus six. So strength is the same. We do get attacks the same, but we get a uh, absorb is no. SP is two. Poison is one. Everything's the same. It's weird. Alright, we gotta stand still and heal. I don't understand what's so nice about it. Like, it's literally the same stats as what I currently have equipped, but okay. So basically, I just want to shred on a guitar, even though I don't know how to, I kind of know how to play guitar, but not, not good enough to do anything with it. <laughs> I was more piano and other things. I wanted to learn guitar. I tried. My mind could not go that way.
Oh, we're level 28 now, so we are leveling very fast. It's a cool looking mace. It looks almost like a lantern. Something's gonna happen here. Time for another fight. Final form. Oh shit. Kral Amicia, the guardian of the storms. Again. I was forced to learn trombone with asthma. It's not fun. It was this cool thing and it killed the mood. What's the name of the music? See, I played saxophone and was first chair in jazz band for years. I loved it. Um, played piano. Taught myself harmonica, which is really hard. You'd think it'd be easy. It is not. Did we win? Ha <laughs> ha! What? What? No, 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 no. Full health again. I'm just, we're just, we're saving. School pisses me off. I want to go to art class, but was forced into music because it was pretty much. Ah, that's frustrating. 
I have never been good at art. It's something I've always wanted to be good at was art, but I'm not. I'm not at all. <laughs> Send to the top floor. <clears throat> Whew, we finally made it. Sure took us forever to get up here. Lord El Deal! Where are you? And why is this room such a mess again? Sheesh. Honestly, Lisa is kind enough to tidy up, but we take our eyes off him for a few minutes and it's back to how it was. He sure has a lot of books. <clears throat> so this is the room Adol was invited to. There do seem to be a whole lot of things in here that I've never seen before. So all of this is knowledge that Eldeal intends to give to others? I wonder what he planned to impart upon Adol. We can ask him if we can find him. Come on, he's got to be around here somewhere, right? Sure. Not in his bed. Lord Eldeal! So he's... He's the one they call a god? I thought you might come, Kelly. Kella like it? Kalikala? Kalik? Ah, fuck me. I don't remember what it is anymore. <laughs> and. It's nice to see you again. Indeed. It's a pleasure to see you again as well, Adol Kristen. I am truly relieved to see that you've made it back here safely. Lord Adil, how are you feeling? Lisa told us that you were unwell. I see. So that's how she explained it then. Today, at the very least, I'm feeling wonderful. So wonderful that I thought I would <clears throat> come outside for a while and enjoy the breeze. <clears throat> Does that... <clears throat> oh my god. Does that mean you were feeling sick? Do you believe Lisa to be keeping secrets from you, Caligula? Kalilika. I can't fucking hell, I don't remember what her name was anymore. I know, <laughs> I know how perceptive you can be, and how much genuine concern you hold for the well-being of those around you. Yeah, I thought she might be hiding something. Lisa's claim is roughly half true, and half understandably false. My body is different to that of yours. I didn't take ill in quite the same manner as you. So, are you okay, or aren't you? The process my body is undergoing right now is more unique than mere sickness. And it is for that reason that I summon Adol here. What do you mean by unique? Lord Eldeal? I hadn't expected this to occur again so soon. Please, Adol. Kalilika, you must stay back. What? What's what's happening? His hair and his wings are changing color. Lord El Deal. Adol, Kristen. I thank you for sparing me the trouble of hunting you down myself. I don't know, Dong Hammer. <laughs> His tone is different, as though he has become a completely different person. No. Now, now I will have you return what is rightfully mine. The Mask of the Sun. Give it back. The Mask of the Sun. You humans are unworthy to bear such a powerful artifact. Only I am suited to possess such strength. Uh, this is not good. 
stop this. Oh, you, you never know when to give up. Okay, so he's good and evil. Everything has returned to its original hue. What just happened? It's as if there are two people or two divinities inhabiting the same body. That's gotta be what Lisa saw that had her so flustered. I don't blame her for wanting to keep quiet about it. Could have always been like this, or perhaps this affliction has only begun occurring recently. My money's on a mixture of the two. It's something that hasn't happened for a long time, but just started flaring up again. Ah, here they come. How's he doing? He's sleeping now. He does look a little better, but... Edel, I think this might be too much for us to handle right now. Worried about El Deal, but we need to go back to town to talk to the mayor or something. Figure out what to... Hey. What is it? I smell something strange. It's not me, I swear. <laughs> no, I smell it too. It seems to be riding on the wind from... Quite a distance away. Quite a distance is in... Highland. Oh no. Is that smoke? Oh no, no way. That's cannon fire. What does cannon mean? Wait, are you talking about the weapons used by your military? Who could bring something like that all the way here? No, it couldn't be. Grandfather, Lisa! Adel, Kalilica, and I reactivated. Adel, Kalilica, and I reactivated the elevator to the bottom floor while we were looking after your deal. We can use it to get out of here right now. Come on. Let's hurry to Highland. Right. Lord El Deal will be back with Lisa soon. And with that. That is where I'm going to call it for the night. <laughs> so thank you everybody for coming on out tonight. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm, we've made a fair amount of progress tonight, so I'm really happy with that. Um, I am looking to do a roguelike night sometime this weekend. I do not know what day yet, so follow in the Discord. I got some new roguelikes I want to show off. Um, some really interesting ones. So we'll, I'll figure out a day and leave the next either be saturday or sunday or monday one of the two uh but thank you everybody for joining us this week for finishing omen site checking out steam world quest which is an awesome awesome game and highly recommend if you like the steam world games and for continuing through with memories of celsita um, hope you all enjoy your weekend i will chat at you all over in discord through the weekend right, see you next time Good night.